Subscribe to Grazia and press on the bell icon. Hello everyone. I am Aditi, chef and co-founder at the Baker's Dozen. Today I would like to wish all of you a very happy World Baking Day. It's a lovely day. We get to bake breads, we get to bake cakes, people get happy. Whenever your mood is down, baking makes everybody happy. The one who's baking and definitely the one who's eating. We got a lot of requests asking us to share with you the recipe of our focaccia. So today I will show you how do we make our lovely focaccia. These are the ingredients. We are using 420 grams of atta. You can make this recipe with maida, but the recipe I will show you today is with atta. This is 250 ml of water, 4 grams of yeast, 8 grams of salt and 100 grams of olives. You can replace these olives or add additionally sun-dried tomatoes, roasted garlic, uh, slightly uh, stir-fried onions. Now let me show you how do we mix this. Now let me share with you the mixing steps for this. We are first going to take our flour and put it inside the mixer. This is 420 grams of flour. To this, I'm going to add all my water, which is 250 ml of water. To this, I will add my yeast. This does not need to be activated. And I will add my salt. I will not add my olives right now. I will first develop the structure of my dough. I'm going to keep my mixer at a slow speed where I'm going to incorporate everything. So all the dry ingredients should come together to form a wet dough. I normally don't like to tell you how many minutes you should mix this for. The best way to judge it is when it comes together. If you see this, it's just about to come together. There is some dough on the sides. I'm just going to bring it down. Mix it up a little bit. Don't go on a fast speed. Keep it at the lowest possible speed. Otherwise, it's going to break the structure of your bread. The real flavor of a bread comes from its structure, which gets controlled and developed during mixing. So you have to be extremely careful during the mixing process. All the dry ingredients are becoming wet. The terminology we always use at the factory is Jab sara sukha giza hota hai, you know your dough is ready. This is the consistency of my dough right now. Now, once everything is incorporated, is when we will go on a higher speed to develop the gluten. This should take about a minute or two for it to come together. We will do a window test. I will show you how do you window, do the window test so you can know when the gluten is settled up. If you don't have a mixer, you can do the same thing by hand the way you would have uh, needed the dough of your atta of your roti. Now the gluten, the structure in our dough has developed. As you would have seen, this is an oil-free recipe. It's made with 100% atta and zero oil, so it's extremely healthy and the olives are going to make it very, very tasty. Now, what is the test to know if your dough is ready? You take a small piece of dough and try to do what is called a window test. You extend it and see, is your, the, this thing over here, this window, is it tearing or is it developing? This is your window. A little bit tear is what we want. We don't want it over mixed. That means the structure of this is developed. Now is when I will add my enricher, which is olives in this case. This is 100 grams of olives. You can choose to add sun-dried tomatoes, roasted garlic to this too. You can even choose to add some fresh herbs. 
I'm going to mix this at a very salty speed. You can see what, what is happening. We will mix this till the time the olives are evenly incorporated. I'm going to stop this and try to gradually mix some of the olives by hand so that it's evenly incorporated. olives have given some of its water away which is why the dough is very loose and sticky that's exactly how we want it so I'm going to take this dough and put all of it in a bowl for it to ferment I'm not going to knead this further I'm not going to knock it back this is how I'm going to leave it I'm going to The test is actually double in volume and uh, it should become light and fluffy. Once it's proved, I will show you how to shape it. So it's been about 45 minutes and I think our dough is ready. Let's have a look at it. This has now doubled in volume. Another way of testing it is put some flour on top and put your hand and just try to wobble. And it should feel like what a mousse is. If it wobbles, it's ready. Now I'm going to take this. This recipe is for about 750 grams of uh, dough. I'm going to be very very gentle because all the gas we've developed, we don't really want it to go away. I'm going to cut this into half. I'm eyeballing it to be approximately half the size. I'm going to very lightly just shape it a little bit because I don't want the gas to go. This is my pan and I'm going to put one of these in here. And I'm going to put the second in another baking tray. This will be two focaccias. At this point, we are going to prove it again. This proving should take about uh, another 45 minutes. So this goes back in the microwave. And we will have a look at it in about 45 minutes. So it's been about 45 minutes and I think the final proof is done. Let's have a look. I use the microwave as a proving chamber. Anything which is closed and humid and hot works, whether it's an oven or a microwave, just don't keep it on because we don't want it to bake. So these are the two focaccia that we put. Uh, they've almost come to the top and they feel very light and puffy. Some of these gaps that are missing, they will get all incorporated during the baking time. I always suggest when you are using your oven for the first time to bake a bread, keep testing in the middle and maybe you want to alter the temperature or the setting. And in 20 minutes from now, our focaccia should be ready.